Okay, cool. Uh, 292 Nim game. Uh, you're playing the following Nim game with your friend. There's a heap of stones on the table. Each, each time one of you take turns to remove one to three stones. The one who removes the last stone will be the winner. You will take the first turn to remove the stones. Both of you are very clever and have optimal strategies for the game. Write a function to determine whether you can win the game given the number of stones in a heap. Um, yeah, I mean, I've I mean, this is an easy problem. I mean, I think uh, there are general versions of this in which you have to know more number theory, uh, more game theory. Uh, but I think this is probably a game that most people have played before. Uh, I'm not sure why there's so many downloads, but but I think um, yeah. So you start start to uh, basically the the equilibrium is when the number of stones is a multiple of four in this case. Uh, and you want to uh, get to a point where uh, um, uh, when your opponent goes, it is at a multiple of four because when uh, uh, when that's the case, um, when it's your turn again, you can make it back to the multiple of fours. So that's pretty much it. Um, so. Um, yeah, so the only time you can not win this game is if uh, if it's already a multiple of four. Because if it's already a multiple of four, then your opponent will just employ that strategy. But otherwise, uh, if it's anything not a multiple of four, then you take it so that it gets to a multiple of four. So that's pretty much what I'm going to do. Um, I don't know if it's worth kind of getting into it. I mean, and there's kind of... Yeah. Oh, whoops. Uh, so, th so this is true. Nope. So, okay. And then we could kind of run for a few examples. Uh, I mean, I don't know if it's worth my time to kind of go through uh, different uh, uh, illustration purposes, but um, yeah, I mean, this it's a pretty straightforward problem. Think. Hmm. I wonder if zero is a use case actually. I think in that case, do you already win? I don't know. Hmm. Okay, well, I'm just gonna submit. Uh, yeah, so I mean, this is this seems okay. I mean, it, it, yeah, this one is a little bit too easy. I think, um, definitely. <coughs> If you run into this problem during an interview, uh, definitely step back a little bit and just to make sure you kind of draw out the states. Uh, maybe even you know, uh, 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 you know, draw on the whiteboard to make sure that you're like, okay, uh, uh, why that? Why why is this true? Right? Uh, I think. I mean, I think this is definitely not a great interview question. I think it's just a little bit too easy if you know the trick, and if you don't know the trick, then maybe you take too long. But either way, it doesn't really teach anything. Like it doesn't show whether someone knows programming. I mean, maybe, I guess, if you're doing some mathy stuff, then maybe it's a consideration. But, um, but yeah, I mean, it, and it's just too easy. I, don't, I mean, it's, I, even for me, and as I'm kind of half explaining it, like it only took a couple of minutes, so I don't know. Not a fan of this form, but I maybe that's why the downloads, I don't know. But, all right, let's...